Clementine next. So this is going to be a barn burner. And this is going to be very interesting, too, because we got two hard hitting boys on the stage here. We really do. Ike versus Bowser. And I think, is it safe to say that both these characters have fallen out of the meta for kind of similar reasons, no? Hmm, potentially. I feel like Ike still kind of has a place, you know, with the Steve menace. Ike doesn't do too bad against Steve. You know, he's got that huge disjoint and it hits pretty hard. Now, everything else, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to be the, the Ike, you know, professional here. But Ike does not have a terrible, terrible matchup against Steve. I can't say the same about Bowser. In fact, I don't even know much about the Bowser-Steve matchup. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, that, that is true, but I think what I was talking about is like with uh, with other characters in general, like oh, yeah. with the with the game plan of how Ike and Bowser are, they become very linear. And like, yes, you can't mess up against them because they'll, they'll make you pay for it, yes. like as Leon is doing right now. But you know, the, in the higher echelon where you you know really don't need it, the rare screwups are going to happen anyways. But oh, Leon oh. making Toxic pay for that, fifty two percent only, and look at this command grip already started. Leon is cooking right now. Puppy to extend the combo as well? You're crazy. Did you know Bowser has a 62% combo? <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I guess I just got shown that. Leon. What the oh hell is that? That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is what happens when Leon fights a character who doesn't have all these crazy multiple hitboxes, right? And, you know, he gets to fight fair. It's just that Bowser just absolutely puts the pain down on some people. And this is why Bowser still does pretty decent in today's meta. It's just, you know, heavy tax is kind of a big thing. But Ike isn't exactly a character that puts the heavy tax down on people, you know? Yeah. Fighting fair is, uh, I would say, an overstatement. In this matchup, it's fighting Nair, honestly, yeah. with, uh, <laughs> with Toxic. But, I mean, Leon able to do so well with this. Finally gets her stock taken with that quick up tilt. But 131%, like a falling Nair into a bear surely will kill or even a strong hit, so Toxic really got to make these interactions count, and also got to be careful of those straight hits landing. Great stuff already, 51% quickly being stacked up, but a command grab lands on top of the platform. Excellent DI, though, to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great DI. I mean, Ike is a little bit heavy, uh, but yeah, that was definitely a nice little play there, and oop, there we go, man. Hey, oh. Leon saying, I got an up till up my own, and that one is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it really is, and straight hits are landing. Excellent conversions off of them, but Leon Hellbent on trying to get something started with that neutral special, but Toxic is having none of it right now, but 125. Falling there into the bear, that quick conversion. Neutral special oh. user, love that in the command grab as well. We tried to go off the stage with their great usage of the down and the quick up be at a shield. If you don't space that correctly, you're surely gonna get punished, but finally, Leon able to get swung on so toxic able to get out of that corner but my goodness that damage quickly being stacked up this is looking mighty uncomfortable yeah no this is definitely a tough spot for toxic he's got to capitalize on every potential opportunity given to him right now it's about trying to get this stock out of the way right that aether is gonna be able to do it from center stage i can't believe they buffed that move still it's been like a year and a half now but that move is just absolutely ridiculous but either way Getting into the rest of this, we got that forward throw. That's not going to be enough quite yet. Again, Ike is kind of beefy, but Leon also is just really good with the ledge trapping here. We kind of saw something earlier that I really oh. want to touch on. By the way, fantastic up tilt. It's so quick, it covers so much space. But there was a edge guard or a ledge trap scenario, I guess, that we saw earlier from Leon that I thought was super, super clean, right? Um, so Ike, what we see uh, often with Ikes, right, is they like to charge up that quick draw, right? And they, they tend to like hold it, right? They want to see what you're going to do. And it's a quick move, right? So they can potentially recover high, recover to the ledge. And what Leon ended up doing was actually jumping high enough and using that fire breath to kind of create a wall yeah, where yeah, yeah, yeah. wherever Toxics could go and then capitalize on a combo on that. That's the type of creative stuff that you need to do with your character in certain matchups to really try and push it to the next level. I just want to really praise the Leon for that one. No, that's that's the optimal option to like even a character as quote unquote simple as bowser you can really take it to the next level with how much you can really think about it yep bowser used for the optimal damage is the most damaging throw that bowser has so gonna be utilizing that would also set up off no percentages mark on this bowser but as soon as i speak that one i curse leon finally able to get this combo started it outward but toxic a lot of damage being eaten as well as being that bear directly to the face but thankfully the side special gonna break toxic out but the straight downer you gotta be careful and that all started with toxic throwing out a down tilt i think they were trying to catch leon maybe slipping past the platform and it just <laughs> turned into a whole stock for him 
Uh, so honestly, just a nice play from Leon. Oh my God, another flying slam. And this is where you can tell Leon's really starting to get in his groove, right? Is when he starts putting those flying slams down and he's connecting them too, right? It means he's got to read on where you're going to be going, if you're jumping, if you're landing, and he's going to punish it, punish you for it every time. It's a strong move. Uh, it Even when stale, it's still really strong, which right there was a little stale. Maybe you could have got a stock on a fresh one, but either way, uh, yeah, Leon's definitely on his, uh, on his BS right now. I mean, honestly, you don't even take a stop with it. It's already hurting because, you know, it's your defense. It's the defense you're holding the shield. You want to be safe because a straight hit will surely kill him. Boom! As I say it, Toxic eats the bear directly to the face. And the straight hit through the shield, not going to land it out. That one, the dash attack is not even good enough. Bowser, the heaviest character of the game for a reason. It starts to pay off, but finally Toxic able to secure something. He had to get something started. But Leon, if the trend continues for how well he's playing, especially with all these command grabs, it's looking really rough for Toxic. And look at this, 67% already on your final stock, man. You gotta play these next two stocks perfectly because any mistake will lead to a scenario where Leon takes your stock, right? I mean, we talked about it. Bowser's one of the hardest hitting characters in the game. You already had 100 something percent. It's not looking good for you, all right? We got a forward air again, putting Toxic's off stage. He's trying to get back to, oh wait, that was actually a beautifully placed Aether. It really was, but, oh, it won't be. It's, it's looking really awkward right now, but the Aethers, I love this new adaptation game that Top is putting out there, but oh goodness. Mm hmm. You gotta watch that up tilt, man. <laughs> that, you gotta. That is a, listen, it's not only a strong move, it doesn't only just cover a, like a wide area, it's fast. It comes out really, really quick. It starts in the front and he reaches out quite a quite a bit too like quite the distance and then he just sweeps all around him like it's actually ridiculous how strong that move is oh, the up tilt is also phenomenal it's really good because if you think about it a lot of people have been going for tomahawk grabs mm -hmm. right and you always have to be afraid of bowser just doing up he had a shield anyways so if you try to grab it's gonna get interrupted but what leon did actually in the previous game that i really like to see is that use the up tilt because a lot of people have been adjusting it to avoid the up b um, if you do a empty hop and then you jump immediately afterwards to bait out their up special so that you'll just go right above it but it's a sweeping move so it'll catch you regardless of it so that's really good stuff by leon able to you know move on there but you know really shots to uh, shout outs to um toxin because they kept it really well with that ike oh yeah no um definitely just did it really really well in that position and i'm actually kind of checking out some of the bowser up tilt frame data here real quick and as i'm looking it technically has an 11 frame startup right but one two three four five six seven eight on frame eight he actually becomes invulnerable or uh, or intangible Ooh. right and then three frames later he loses that but that's when the hitbox comes out and it just reaches all around the man like that moves actually really really messed up or it's armored i believe it's uh, it's not intangible it's armored if i remember correctly but still what it's it's an absolutely crazy and move bowser in general just has really really strong tilt so it's definitely something you got to be a little wary of because i think he might have lost two stocks in that game too to uh, the up tilt and i mean speaking of bs moves did you know that